Join us in New Zealand's Art Deco capital, Napier, and discover the beauty of the surrounding coast, wetlands and peaks. I am in Napier with my brother-in-law Raymond, who is going to show me around the town. So let's go. Napier is known for its Art Deco architecture. Napier was completely destroyed by a massive earthquake in 1931 and rebuilt in the Art Deco style. Come on a street tour with us. Today it's a funky little town with vibrant street art. There's also lots of really cool boutique bars and restaurants. Napier's main street, Marine Parade, is by the sea. Here there are theatres, restaurants and all sorts of things to entertain and delight. We're at the Iron Pot in Napier, which is a fishing spot. There's lots of fishing boats and lots of eateries and bars. This is Perfume Point, so-called because there used to be a sewage outlet here. We're at Waitangi Reserve. Over there, you can see a lot of birds waiting for us to go and film them. is on reclaimed land, on which the council has constructed wetlands. These are great places to see water birds. Tamata Peak, 400 metres high, has great walking trails. We're going to do the Red Walk, marked on the map, the Grand Circuit, 5.4 kilometres long. So we're just walking up the Chambers track at the start, which is a nice shady uphill track. They're planting a lot of New Zealand native trees on these bare slopes. Still on the Chambers Walk, we're now turning off onto the Grand Circuit Walk and going up an even steeper track 
but at least it's through trees, so it's lovely and shady. We might even see some native birds. It's a well steep incline as we march our way to the top. So we've emerged from the lovely trees where um, I filmed the New Zealand fan tale for your delectation and delight. Um, we're now descending through rugged scenery to a grove of redwood trees which have been planted here quite some time ago. They're Californian redwoods of course um, and these days it would be a grove of native trees but it's a while since they've been planted and they are planting natives on the surrounding hills. After our exciting footage of the Tui, we're now on our way again. We're walking through farmland now, with steep cliffs on either side. Quite a steep climb. Uh, in a bit of a hurry now as we've taken far too long to climb up the hill because we got distracted by birds. We've come from way down there where the dock van is. I think the track is leading us right up to the summit there, nearly at the top. And what a view. Over there in the distance is Craggy Range. We've zigzagged all the way up from the bottom. Well, this has got me huffing and puffing. Just about the top. I think I can safely say I'm buggered after climbing up that bloody great hill. Down there's the Tuki Tuki River, and beyond there, the sea. We've made it. There's the summit car park. We've made it! Here's Matt and Philippa. And this is the view from the Summit Car Park. There's the Trig, the High Point. Oh, 